Taylor Sheridan got us all excited two years ago by announcing that he is planning to expand the Yellowstone universe with multiple prequels and spin-off series. One of the first series that was announced at the time was Four Sixes, which was going to take place in the real-life Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. The show was going to take a much more realistic look at modern-day country life than Yellowstone, which was a great pitch because many people are quite oblivious to what's been going on behind the scenes of a ranch. Soon after, we learned that Jimmy from Yellowstone was going to be the leading actor in the show, moving to Texas to give a start to the series, which he eventually did. Then, with cast members known and a great pitch to build a compelling scenario on Four Sixes must be ready to prepare by this point, right? Well, no. In fact, with the latest announcement, we learned that the show is not even going to be released in 2024, which was the original date that the show was scheduled to premiere after a series of delays. The Four Sixes saga had a very interesting start from the very beginning. First of all, Four Sixes Ranch is the reason why we have all these Yellowstone spin-off shows in the first place. Apparently, Sheridan agreed to expand the Yellowstone into a franchise simply to be able to buy the ranch with the support of Paramount behind him. In a way, Paramount enabled him to buy the ranch and demanded a bunch of new Yellowstone shows in return. Knowing that even Yellowstone was designed to be a single-season miniseries in the first place, it's clear that this is a huge step and a major commitment on Sheridan's part. Since he expressed multiple times before that he does his shows to save the ranches in the U.S., I believe that he got under that burden willingly, despite knowing that he wouldn't be able to handle so many projects at once. And guess what? This is exactly what happened. Not only have we got delays on almost all of these projects, but also still have yet to welcome the new episodes of even Yellowstone, the main show. But I digress. In the end, Four Sixes has become just another show for Sheridan that's waiting to be completed. To be fair, though, he made an introduction to the show throughout Yellowstone Season 4, taking us on a journey alongside Jimmy in Texas. I, I like Jimmy because, you know, he's he's outside of this world. He's outside of the Dutton Ranch. He's outside of the, the ranching world and the sort of cowboy lifestyle. And he's fighting so hard to find where he belongs in it. And he keeps getting kicked off horses, made fun of, knocked down, beat up. But he insists that he can survive in this world. Despite all the evidence, despite every time he falls down, he gets back up and continues to fight. So we had the chance to get a glimpse of what to expect from Four Sixes and how the show might progress potentially. And it was great. It was truly great. In fact, many fans started to want to watch Four Sixes as soon as possible after those brief scenes in Yellowstone Season 4, and I totally sympathize with that sentiment. And yet, here we are still waiting to get an official release date on the show. In the latest announcement, Sheridan expressed the following regarding Four Sixes. That, for a number of reasons, needs a unique level of special care because this is a real place with real families working here. You have to respect the lineage. I've told the studio to be patient. What do these words mean? Well, that means that it will take perhaps years for Four Sixes to premiere. The show is basically on hold and we have to be patient about it as if we haven't been over the past couple of years. It sometimes feels like Sheridan expects his fans to have the patience of a scene at times and I'm not sure if we have that. Are you disappointed by this newest development regarding Four Sixes? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.